Hey everyone, this is Chef Steven. Welcome back to my kitchen. Christmas is right around the corner, so we're gonna make one of my all-time favorite snacks for our get-togethers, my Christmas chocolate bark. Not a lot of ingredients, as you all know. I love to keep it simple. We've got a container of white chocolate bark, dark chocolate bark, as well as Belgian waffle, all cut up, along with a couple marshmallows, too. Now, for our Christmas element, we've got some candy canes, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna break these all up to give us our Christmas feel. Anyways, let's get this easy recipe going, shall we? The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna start melting your white chocolate. Normally, we'll start with the dark chocolate, but I wanna throw everyone for a loop. Get a pot of water boiling with a metal bowl. We're gonna throw our white chocolate in, and we're just gonna let that all melt. If you wanna melt it a little bit quicker, just break them all up. All right, we're gonna get a little container, line it with some parchment paper. I like to push that in so that way I can see where I'm pouring. If you wanna use a baking dish, by all means go for it. But we're gonna pour our chocolate in and we're gonna save just a little bit and I'll show you why here in a moment. And then just kind of get it all pressed down and spread out around our pan. If you like it a little bit on the thinner side, get a sheet pan and spread it out so it'll be thinner. But I like mine to have to be a little bit on the thicker side. While this is still soft, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of our waffles in there. We're gonna do some of our marshmallows as well. And this will almost give it like a s'mores type of feel at the very end. So we're gonna press down into our chocolate. Since we have one of these chocolate candy canes, we're just gonna break this up. And put this right over the top. Next, we're gonna do the same thing with our dark chocolate. All right, we're just gonna do the same thing with our dark chocolate. This time I got smart and just broke everything down to save us a little bit of time, but you know me, I'm a glutton for punishment. All right, we're just gonna pour the rest of our chocolate right over the top. All around again of our marshmallows, waffles. We can crush that up just a little bit. Get some more pieces around there. Some more. And again, we'll just pour this over the top. Now remember the white chocolate that we saved? Well, let me show you what we're gonna do with that. We're gonna get just a couple drops of green food coloring, a couple drops of red off to the side, and then we're gonna try something and just get a little bit of extra color around. And then what we're gonna do, we'll grab a spoon, mix that up just a little bit, same principle. Next, what I like to do is I like to take it out and let it start to fall over just a little bit, and we're gonna let that cool off and set up. All right, we've had some time to let this set up. We're just gonna get a knife, cut into this, and this is what we're left with. If you wanna drop it and break it up, you're more than welcome to, but I like all this thickness to it, but if you like it a little bit thinner, of course, let it go a little bit thinner. Now let's try this. All right, it's time to plate this up. We're just gonna cut this into little chunks. And we're gonna put this all on our plate. For an added bonus, just gonna get some blueberries, because what's a little chocolate without some fruit? And finally, we get to taste this. So, that is rich, almost like eating fudge. Cut your pieces a lot smaller. I like to go all out, but that's just me. The crunchiness of the candy cane, the mint, the chocolate, the waffle, the marshmallow, all together, fantastic. That little bit of blueberry mellows it out, but either way, I hope you learned something today. Make sure you follow me on social media, Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook, Chef Steven's on Instagram and Twitter. Also go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com. 
get a copy of my cookbook, get your grub on, which will make an excellent gift for Christmas. And we'll catch you next time.